Uh, going through some observations, is I think the one that stood out most is probably the headline for the day is, again, just to explain to people at home, they've been practicing. They've been there. Right. Players who we have not seen in only the two days of OTA availability. And yes, we had one taken away from us because of the rules violation. We only get to see them you know, certain days and some days you don't, you just don't see guys. Doesn't mean they're not there. Juju Smith Schuster has been there. We've seen pictures of him there. Uh, Christian Gonzalez had been there, Uh, but we didn't get to see him last week. So everybody was really uh, geeked up about, uh, you know, getting to see him in person a little bit. And Patriots released a video of him working out that little quick little, you know, thing with his footwork and everybody freaked out over that seven second clip. But now we've got to see him on the field and see what he looks like. And again, you know, Taylor, it's not like, as you said today, that you saw enough competitive stuff to mm-hmm. get super excited about him. But there's right. two things that stand out. One, he's clearly CB1. He's in there. He's lined up. They had John Jones when they played a base package. My yeah. guess is it's going to be Jack Jones with John Jones in the slot when they're playing kind of a base nickel. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what you'll probably see. Um, and, so I, and one thing is Marcus Jones didn't participate. So it wasn't as, you know, yeah. that's the big competition that we're probably going to see in training camp. Nothing's really going to get decided right now. But, you know, with Jack Jones' suspension, Belichick even acknowledged that he's working hard. He's doing, you know, the typical Belichick. He's doing all the right things. Uh, but, yeah, seeing him out there. Also, Isaiah Bolden. Uh, was getting a pretty good amount of reps across from Gonzalez, which you don't really expect necessarily because yeah. he's cons- he was a late round guy, considered more of a return specialist and a special teams guy, but he has phenomenal size at the position, similar to Amir Speed, who didn't get any reps at cornerback. So I thought that was also really interesting. And yeah. Isaiah Bolden could it just has such a great profile. If yeah. he can fit in well, there's your combo when they play guys like the Bengals, who have, you know, just a bunch of towers out there who can yeah. go up and grab the ball. CLNS Media's Patriots coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. Yeah. And it's early. For sure. But the things that stood out is, I I mean, I I think everyone kind of agrees. I think he has to fall all over. I think it's his to lose. Um, Mm -hmm. Rookies don't often get the benefit of that doubt. I think Christian Gonzalez will. I think it's his. They want it to be his. I mean, they they Cole Strange was penciled in as a starter, ready or not, to start last season. That was it. And he took his lumps along the way, um, ended up being rotated out on occasion and didn't have a terrific rookie year. I think they fully expect that Gonzalez is going to line up outside and be their guy and and be their number one corner. And that's that. And then just hope that he continues to improve as it goes. So. That's that to see where he is out there. The other thing is, again, it's not competitive drills, but he just looks the part, right? Everything that he does just looks the part. Uh, The way he moves, his size, his athleticism, um, it just looks good. Um, And Ahmed did a great job getting that video of the one-handed catch that he had in the high point drills. Yeah, and I think I can find that too. Um, But um, he was, uh, he was, you know, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. We got a little... Yeah, there we might have is. a little Gonzalez. But yeah, um, uh, he's out there. They're running some drills. You will see him leap up here and do something super athletic. Here it is. Oh, look like at that. Sheesh. <laughs> if he were parallel, it would be the OBJ catch. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't love seeing that? And you see, it's the vertical, it's the length, it's all the things that make him just yeah. a crazy like, slow motion. I don't know how he got that high. Yeah. So it's just silly stuff like that. It's just he just looks good, right? Yeah. Um, and it looks like easy when he runs. It's effortless, you know. His just, you know, his movement, his fluidity. He's just, ha- you know, he's kind of he's built that way. Yeah, and especially in this division where you're going to go up against guys like Stephon Diggs, Tyreek Hill, and or Jalen Waddle, uh, you really need a guy like him who can not only stick with them vertically. You know, Stephon Diggs isn't exactly a speed guy, but he's very good at double moves and selling those. And Gonzalez, it's hard to get away from him just because he's so big. Even if you are, you know, a pretty good route runner, he has the speed and the size to recover. And most of the time he's still in your pocket because he's just so fluid and he understands the position very well, you know, credit to a big jump that he made at Oregon where it really seemed like it came together after he kind of struggled uh, the year before that. So it was really exciting to see, you know, just what he could do physically. We're not going to see, you know, what he can really do until the pads come on, they can play press and, you know, they get more physical, which is really part of his skill set with that length. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he comes out of the package and looks like, you know, a future pro bowler at quarterback. So good to see. 
CLNS Media's Patriots coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. 